The Marvel Cinematic Universe might look very different had the God of Thunder not been put through the ringer. Screenwriters Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely explained that they had to change their plans due to the radical reinvention of Thor in director Taika Waititi's Thor Ragnarok. Fans of the MCU know very well that Waititi essentially rehabilitated the character of Thor after his somewhat lackluster portrayal in the series prior to Ragnarok. While there were always humorous undertones to the God of Thunder, Waititi tapped into star Chris Hemsworth's comedic chops to give us a Thor who was just as quippy as his fellow Avengers. But if I'm being honest, when it comes to fighting evil beings, he is very powerful and useful. Yeah, Banner's powerful and useful too. Is he though? The hero's newly comedic personality felt very different to his rather dour demeanor in other MCU films, which meant that the early drafts of Infinity War needed to be adjusted to accommodate it. Remember, we had to, we were inheriting a Thor from Ragnarok who was very well and radically retoned from the previous Avengers movies. According to Marcus and McFeely, they actually had to fly in Hemsworth and Waititi to make sure that the Odin Sun's characterization made sense going from Thor Ragnarok to Avengers Infinity War. But Waititi didn't just tweak the Thunder God's characterization. He put the poor guy through the kind of narrative gauntlet that few Marvel characters have had to endure, forcing him to experience more loss in a single film than he ever had before. Marcus and McFeely saw in this an opportunity to portray Thor in a novel, almost shocking way. In Avengers Avengers Infinity War, the Thunder God is obviously still hurting from the events of Ragnarok, and in that film's opening, he's forced to witness the murder of his adopted brother Loki as well as his friend Heimdall at the hands of Thanos. During a later conversation with Rocket, Thor seems withdrawn, unsure of himself, insecure, even depressed. That continues to the end of the film, in which Thor makes a crucial error, failing to immediately kill Thanos, allowing the Mad Titan to snap away half of all life in the universe. The failure nearly breaks the Thunder God, and when we see him in Avengers Endgame, he's despondent enough over it to kill a defenseless Thanos in the film's opening moments. Marcus explained, In Thor Ragnarok, he loses his kingdom, his father, his sister, and his eyeball. We just thought about what would happen if any one of us sustained this loss and horror. You would get incredibly depressed and retreat from the world. That is a comedic performance with a lot of pain behind it. If Waititi hadn't put Thor through the ringer in Ragnarok, it's safe to say that Marcus and McFeely's interpretation of the character would have been very different. Considering how instrumental Thor's failure and subsequent breakdown are to the narrative of Infinity War and Endgame, it's possible that inheriting a steadier, more confident Odin's son might have changed the entire story that Marcus and McFeely were crafting. For that matter, the dour, kingly Thor of his first two solo films almost certainly wouldn't have made the choice he did at the conclusion of Endgame to leave New Asgard in the hands of Valkyrie and head out to go on interstellar adventures with the Guardians of the Galaxy. This development seems likely to affect the MCU's overarching narrative for years to come. Writer-director James Gunn's upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will certainly have to address it. And Thor's decision to leave Earth behind is also certain to play into the story of 2021's Thor Love and Thunder. The latter film will see Waititi return to the franchise to showcase Thor's former flame Jane Foster picking up the hammer to become the mighty Thor. Indeed, it's easy to make the case that with Thor Ragnarok, Waititi didn't just reinvent the Thor franchise. He shook up the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's also pretty amazing that Marcus and McFeely were able to incorporate the adjustments while also constructing the most complex narrative the franchise has ever seen, and still crack the story for the highest grossing movie in history. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.